Make no mistake about it, the cut that is being proposed is a 52.4% cut in our appropriation. State appropriation. In our state appropriation. Uh, and that consists of the total elimination of the uh, funding f for the College of Medicine, 50% for the Cooperative Extension Service, Agricultural Research, 50% of what is known as our education and general budget, a cut of $1.4 million at the Pennsylvania College of Technology. It is a huge portion of our ENG, the education in general part of our budget, what we might call the instructional part of our budget. Of course, it is a much smaller percent of our overall budget, but we are not permitted to take any of the hundreds of millions of dollars of federal research funds and convert them to dealing with a state budget cut that affects our instructional programs. We cannot take targeted, restricted, philanthropic dollars that are donated for a scholarship and use them to pay the electricity bill. We cannot take dollars being paid at the Penn State Hershey Medical Center for patient care and use them to pay bills for undergraduate education. So it, it, it would be disingenuous for anyone to use a different set of numbers than the ones that really are and should be on the table. So the consequences there are very great, and I know that people in the agricultural sector are very concerned because it has taken us over 100 years to develop what we've developed in that arena. We are doing things for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania that if we did not do them, other state agencies would have to pick up or they would no longer be done. And, and I know this sounds very impassioned and very dramatic, but it's, it is the way it is. And we are very significantly at risk uh, in, in those areas. And when you go back to, to these important pieces of legislation, the GI Bill was mentioned, the, the Morrill Land Grant Act, the Hatch Act, which created uh, agricultural research services, the Smith-Lever Act, which created the Cooperative Extension Service. These are the four major pieces of legislation in this nation that made public higher education what it is in this country, and we are talking about the possibility in Pennsylvania of dramatically stepping back from that. And so I feel obligated to speak with this level of passion ab about that issue. We have thousands of offers out there for prospective students for next year. Our single largest source of income is tuition. We're very dependent on tuition to, to meet our budget. And we had nervous students and parents calling up saying, we just opened the papers this morning and have read about the governor's budget proposal. Will my child or will I be able to afford to go to Penn State? I, I knew right then and there that we could not put the burden of this solely on our students, that we were going to have to find some way to cope with it, including trying to, to uh, ask all of you to help us moderate uh, or eliminate the, this cut.